and welcome to this BuyBot Pro video. In this video today, I'm going to talk you through the detail section of your BuyBot Pro panel. So I have come onto Amazon, I'm on a product page, I've input my buy price, clicked analyze, and BuyBot Pro has analyzed thousands of data points and given me so much useful information in order to decide if this is a good deal or not. But as I said, I'm gonna talk you through the detail section here. So let me just zoom in a little bit. So the first thing you'll see in the detail section is the ASIN. This is the number that is or code that's given to every product that's sold on Amazon, so it's unique to this product. I can click on there and you'll see it said it's copied the ASIN. This is really useful if you just want to paste it somewhere, whether that's kind of a buy sheet that you're creating or just anywhere else, really easy just to copy it. Now, if I hover over the ASIN, you'll see then it gives me some more details about the product. So this tells me the category and that'll be the main category that it's under. Products can be in more than one category. You'll have the main category and then you'll have subcategory. So this one, for example, is in the beauty category. That's its main category. You've then got the weight and the dimensions of the product. And then you've got two really other useful bits of information, which is whether Amazon have been selling this in the last 90 days. In this case, it's a yes. And also whether they've had the buy box and that's a yes. Coming down, you've then got your BSR predictor. So this is part of the algorithms that are built into Bible Pro and it basically predicts a future BSR ranking, which is obviously 1%, which is really, really good, the best it can be. Don't forget with the BSR, the lower the number, the better. You've then got your main category BSR in terms of a percentage and also the actual number as well. So as I said before, products can be in more than one category. So these BSRs are relevant to the main category, which is beauty in this case. So you have got, as I said, 1% for your percentage and then 686 for the number, which is really good. Obviously, bear in mind that different um, BSRs can be um, good or bad depending on the category. So it won't have the same BSR um, in each category because there'll be a different amount of products etc so then you'll also notice next to this one percent I've got a green thumbs up and it says that this BS BSR sits within my maximum my minimum and my maximum BSR range now this is related to the Bible Pro score so if I come up to my settings here and then I come down and you have your Bible Pro score adjuster so this is where you can input kind of some criteria in terms of your minimum profit, your minimum ROI, and your minimum and your maximum BSR that you want products to sit within. BuyBot Pro will then take this into account when it's analyzing a deal. So it will use it when it's giving it its BuyBot Pro confidence score, and it will know kind of what you're looking for in terms of a product. So it'll know whether it's then hitting your minimum profit, your minimum ROI, and your minimum and your maximum BSR. So you'll see here, I've got a minimum BSR of one and a maximum of seven. And therefore that's why it's got a thumbs up next to the 1% BSR because it's within my criteria for the BSR. So let's come back and go to the detail section again. So then next down, we've got profit margin, obviously a really useful bit of information, 23.8% in this case. Bible Pro has calculated that for you. Then you've got your max sold price. So as the tooltip indicates here, that's the highest FBA third party price that this ASIN has been offered for over the last 365 days. So this is a really useful piece of information. It's useful because it, because it gives you an indicator of what you might be able to sell your product for. Bear in mind that it's what it was offered for, not necessarily what it's sold for, but you can look at the data. And it's also useful when you're pricing because it kind of gives you an indication of what your maximum price could potentially be. You don't want to be pricing too high and, you know, you might it gives you kind of just a really quick indicator of what your maximum price could be because you don't you don't need to sit there and watch, try and work it all out. It's giving you an indicator there. You've then got your max buy cost. So as I said before, in the criteria, you can also set, I talked about BSR, but you can set your required ROI on your profit. Bible Pro will then tell you the maximum amount that you should be buying this product for in order to hit your profit and your ROI criteria. So I know that if I'm buying this product, I do not want to be buying it for more than £12.68 in this case, in order to hit my required profit and ROI. I've then got my break even. So break even is where I don't make a loss, but I also don't make a profit. So it's kind of the lowest price that I can sell that product for and not make a profit, but also not make a loss. And obviously that's really important. So I don't want to be selling this price for any less product for any less than £14.75. You've then got your total costs. So it gives you a, a total number of your costs, whether that's kind of VAT or referral fees. And if you hover over, it will also give you a breakdown as well. So you can see exactly where that's coming from. So don't forget that will include things such as, um, you know, any shipping costs. I've got FBA fulfillment fees in there. So it shows you exactly how it's broken down. 
You then got a discount. Now I haven't input any discount yet, so it says zero here. But you can use your buttons underneath if you have maybe a promo code, discount code. So let's say I've got 10%, I can click on that. You'll see then that a discount has been input of 90p and your numbers will change as a result as well because obviously you're paying less for that product. And if you want to remove it, you just click on that button again and you'll see that it disappears. Underneath then you've got your ROI on your profit, two really important numbers that you need to look at when you're analysing a deal. So in this case I've got an ROI of 55% and a profit of £4.95. Super useful information and as I said crucial when you're deciding if a deal is worth pursuing or not. So that is the detail section of your Buybot Pro extension. One of the main categories in terms of kind of what we call the numbers because it's done all of those calculations for you. It's told you those key pieces of information such as your profit margin, your break even, your ROI, your profit. And then you've got other really useful bits of information to do with your BSR, the max sold price and also the max buy cost as well. Any questions, just drop an email to us at info at buybotpro.com. If you want a completely free seven day course in getting started with Amazon online arbitrage, just head to arbiversity.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.